Well, now, as we just mentioned, Super Bowl Sunday, so it's down to this weekend in the NFL, and we all know that we will all be watching the Super Bowl right here on CTV. But what is the best way to watch? I went shopping to see if I could find the answer. Hello, how's it going? Oh, very good. Julian Sanders from London Drugs. Uh, just the guy I was looking for, actually. Funny that we would find you here at your store. Um, but I'm in front of this wall of TVs. The big Super Bowl game is on Sunday. Uh, yep. As you can see, I can't decide who I want to cheer for, and I can't decide what kind of TV to buy. Can you help us? I can, yeah. Uh, so I have to ask you a couple of questions first. Uh, how's the lighting conditions in the room that you plan on putting the TV? Is it really bright? Can you uh, make the windows covered? I can cover the windows, but that's about it. I mean, uh, okay. the light's either on or off. Okay, because uh, usually the, uh, the best bang for your buck is on a plasma, because you get a uh, nicer picture quality for the money. Uh, so plasma is by far the best choice for most people. Uh, it's also a little bit more durable, so if you have kids or pets and you're worried about something happening to the TV, it's not as fragile as uh, LED is. Uh, you also want to make sure it's uh, fast enough. So uh, if your TV is... Uh, not refreshing quick enough, you'll actually see streaks when they're throwing for the long pass. Okay, so, so that's, that's on the plasma. Uh, that's right, yeah, you want to make sure you don't get a uh, 60 hertz TV. If you watch a lot of sports, you want to have 120 hertz and higher on your TV. Uh, and what about the, uh, the, um, well, the LCD or the LED? Uh, those you get a little bit better brightness, uh, so it's good if you can't control the light. So if you always have big open windows, LED is a great choice. Uh, but those you can get refresh rates that are quite high too. So uh, there's some sports like hockey that look a little bit better on LED. Uh, plasma overall is the better performer. Uh, but you have to be sitting at a good angle. If you're putting the TV up really high, say above a fireplace, uh, LED is usually what you go for because the plasma can look a little washed out if you're looking at it from below. So angles are important. Obviously the, uh, the refresh rate in terms of the, the hertz. We one at least 120. Uh, what about, I mean, price point in terms of a comparable size? Uh, well, you can get a nice big plasma for a much better price. Usually you pay more for LED because they're more expensive to manufacture. Uh, so for uh, the budget conscious, uh, plasmas are a much better choice. Perfect. And uh, what about the uh, long term uh, in terms of the length of the TV? How, how long? Is a lifespan on uh, comparable uh, LED or LCD versus the plasma? Uh, they become about the same over the last couple of years. They have uh, lifespans that go for uh, tens of thousands of hours now, so you don't have to worry about the gas inside of a plasma wearing out. Uh, usually the picture part will uh, outlast the uh, board part, there's a, a computer basically making the TV work inside, and those components will wear out in 10 to 15 years of daily viewing. So that's the piece that usually wears out first. So uh, your money's protected for a long time. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks very much, Julian. Thanks, Mike. Uh, I'm just going to, I guess, browse around, and you'll help me uh, load it up and bring it back to the studio, right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>